Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, we're going to talk about how to switch to an alkaline vegan diet or lifestyle because this is something that I'm in the transition of and also something that I have struggled with and gone back and forth on so so many times including when I tried to do a fruit fast I've done it twice now and even that like I really struggled with so I wanted to give my like tips and experience on how to actually transition over and the number one thing that I have learned is to take the pressure off because at the end of the day what you're trying to create is a lifestyle it's not a diet it's not like a um restrictive suffocating like temporary thing it's something that you want to enjoy and almost celebrate because it's going to be a whole lifestyle and a way of living and something that you're going to do for the rest of your life like it's literally going to become a part of you and sometimes when we're in the journey of transitioning we put so much pressure on ourselves to try and do all of it in one go and then if we slip up we like punish ourselves beat ourselves up for it or we feel like so awkward and like the odd one out with our family and friends and things so then we kind of slip up because of that and then we give up so I've realized that the first thing is to actually take the pressure off and get clear on why you want to transition to an alkaline vegan diet or lifestyle because once you know your why it's a lot easier when those triggering moments happen to remind yourself of exactly like the purpose of this exactly why you're deciding to do this and all of the ways that it's going to benefit you if you were to stick with it so having that clear vision and that clear understanding of why and also um surrounding yourselves with constant reminders of that so for me I like to follow a lot of people on like Instagram that post different information like some of it's informative and some of it's just what they do kind of thing I like to have that appear in my feed so that I'm constantly reminded it's almost like reprogramming your mind I'm constantly reminded with those images of literally the lifestyle that I want and also um information that tells me what foods are bad and like why like what kind of body organ area that they affect and all of that kind of thing so I like to follow people that actually um really know the ins and outs of the body and the types of herbs that you need the types of foods that you need for different things and different diseases and things that you're trying to heal I just find it really like inspiring and motivating and it kind of boosts me back up onto choosing a better food option in my day-to-day -day life because sometimes there are there are many many times for me especially like when I'll be sitting there and I'll know that I should have something, like I should have a piece of fruit or something. And I'm like, oh, let me just go grab some chocolate. You know, let me just go grab something convenient and something tasty. <laughs> I can't think of a word of what to call that. But like, it's very easy to sit there and choose the bad things. So I think it's really key to have these daily reminders of exactly why your body does not actually want sugar and that sugar is more addictive than heroin. And when you remind yourself of those facts and you see these facts on a daily basis, it kind of helps push you back onto your path and onto the path that you're choosing for yourself because you're choosing better for yourself but you are having to essentially completely detox from all of the shit choices that we have made for generations upon generations because the majority didn't even know any better so we're having to literally break generational curses with our diet and transform lifestyles so this is a tough tough decision and tough path to walk and I feel like we should actually give ourselves so much more credit than we do I'm kind of talking to myself as well because I tend to beat myself up all the time if I slip up on any area of life and I feel like 
diet is kind of the number one thing where it shows your level of discipline. It shows how you feel about yourself like it shows so many things about our emotions and how we feel about ourselves and the world so if we can um if we can take control of our diets and obviously it's a process like gradually go along that process of transforming it but if we're able to do that then imagine what else we can create in our lives in all other areas you know if we can take control of the one foundational thing which is food that all of us need in order to exist and survive here like if we can take control of that and choose to literally detox from things that are so addictive like sugar is more addictive than heroin the fact that we're even considering doing that you know is just a powerful powerful thing so I think we should give ourselves way more credit and also understand that this is a process it takes like years essentially to transition fully for a lot of people especially depending on how bad your diet was beforehand you know like I am on my journey I've eliminated certain things gradually it wasn't just everything and I'm still not even um alkaline vegan now but I just choose specific foods that are alkaline vegan sometimes you know and I'm trying to transition to that being like everything that I eat but I know that it's a gradual process and you have to get used to one thing and then swap out another thing and then another thing and just keep on going so for me I found meat getting rid of meat was really easy because I wasn't really a big lover of it anyway I didn't think it tasted that incredible but I know for other people that might be extremely difficult so you just have to gradually take one food at a time and swap it for something else just one thing at a time get consistent with that and you'll get to a point where you don't even want that thing anymore like for me the thought of meat just makes me feel sick but that's because I've done it for so long like it's been five years now or something like that so I'm used to not having it and I don't crave it I don't fancy it I don't want it you know but it takes time to get to that so I feel like if we just were to switch out one thing and feel comfortable with that one thing like when you feel like you're not craving it you don't want it and you've switched it out for something else something that's a healthier option that you love when you do that and you're consistent with that one thing then you can add another thing and then another thing and you just keep on going and before you know it you find that every day you're having so many fruits and vegetables so many herbs you know and even if you were to slip up during that time it literally doesn't matter because our minds are more powerful first of all than any type of disease any type of food that we put in our bodies our minds are the most powerful things so from that perspective it doesn't even matter what you eat but then obviously on the physical perspective we already scientifically know that certain foods are not good for us so fuck I forgot what point I was trying to make this is how you know that oh there's a moth please say you're on the outside you're on the outside oh this is how um I know the information's channeled because now I forgot what point I was trying to make um let me think oh that was what I was gonna say so our mind is more powerful than anything but then even beyond that like we know what foods are bad for our bodies and things but at the end of the day we are human and also a lot of these foods are addictive so slip-ups are likely to happen and as long as we're conscious of the fact that we've messed up and of the fact that we now want to do better in the next go around the next meal that we have like if you're then choosing to do better next time then you've literally learned a valuable lesson and that's going to help you continue on your path and be consistent with it you know so like everything is actually necessary and sometimes the setbacks are not setbacks at all because they propel you even further forward so I just think we kind of have to just ride the wave and flow with ourselves like listen to how we're feeling listen to how your body's feeling you know and sometimes it's okay to have like a shit meal every now and then you know but it's just about being in moderation and the majority of the world is not in moderation because I mean you've got over here in the UK and the US and these kind of countries where we literally eat everything and it's all gross food and then you've got other countries where people are starving and they have nothing so it's just so uneven and not balanced whatsoever that I feel like it's almost our duty to actually do better 
and actually appreciate the food that we have and appreciate everything that we have and be able to put our body's functionality, like our body's necessity in order to live and survive, that should come before a craving of chocolate or do you know what I mean and I know it's easy to say like I sit here and talk about this now and then I'll go home and eat a whole chocolate bar but I'm trying to like reprogram my mind as well and I feel like the mindset and the emotional um like our emotional body and how it functions those things are the key to make any type of change that we ever want to make including food once you have your mindset right and you know how to tune into your body and the emotions that it feels and you pay attention to its sensory um perception then you'll be able to make all of these changes but it does take practice it takes time it takes consistency it takes patience it takes compassion like it requires so many things and we just have to keep going like there's nothing really else to it you just have to keep trying keep falling down and getting back up keep making healthy choices then you might make a bad one like it's okay because at the end of the day what you're focused on and your intent and what you want for yourself is to feel good you know is to be able to move around and play with your children or your grandchildren or have future children like it's to be able to function here and to thrive instead of surviving and instead of feeling miserable and bogged down and weighed down by all of this heavy food that just clogs our whole system. So the fact that you're willing to even try and change that is just really powerful and we should be so, so proud of ourselves and we should just keep on going and keep on trying and then eventually we will get there but it is a journey it is a process and make sure that you surround yourself either online or in person with people that are on your wave that are doing the same things hold the same values you know it doesn't mean that you have to solely be around those people like you can have your family and friends that aren't on the same wave but just make sure you have those people as well because that will be like your safe haven to go to when you need a boost, when you need a rant, when you need like some inspiration, you know, just make sure you have those places. And I definitely recommend having it online as well, because so many of us go online and look at dumb, dumb shit, and it's programming our brains with just ugh, complete survival mode and complete, we're not even going to get into this, but if we were to be conscious of what we're consuming, not just food wise, but also social media, mentally, emotionally, physically, like everything that will all play a role because stress will give you way more diseases than a piece of cake will, you know, like stress will give us so many diseases. So I feel like emotionally and mentally is also really, really important compared to food. But food is very important too. So I don't know. I think it's just more than a it's more than a diet or a lifestyle. It's it's a lifestyle with the food, but it's a lifestyle with everything. It's about being conscious of every area of life that you consume and that you're around and that you put in your space, you know. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music, social media, my phone number, my crystal healing merch. This is, oh, I can't even... This is one of my necklaces on Elemental Mirror. And if you want to get your own as well as other pieces that I have on there, the link to my Etsy store will be in the description box below as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I